Brothers and sisters, this is not the realm of trial and error. These men were custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. Are we together? Archbishop Benson Idahosa went round the world as an African. No land could resist him. I remember one time Benny Hinn was laying hands on people and he got to Archbishop Benson Idahosa and he removed his cap. When Benihim touched him, he fell under the anointing and he put his cap back. He said, thank God he was an African that drew you. I remember one crusade that they were having together with Benihim. And Benihim was praying, trying to charge the atmosphere and rain wanted to fall. It also came and collected the mic. He said, rain is falling. Those who are sick, lay your hands there. There was no time to waste. He didn't answer whether they had faith or not. He understood a system to force their miracle. A guy's face was bent and he came to him for healing. And he said, look up. And the guy looked up. He said, God, this is your image. If this is how you look, leave this man like that. <laughs> Custodians of the ordinances. Now, some of you, it's a shame that some of us are just hearing this for the first time. Yet this is our spiritual heritage. When you start training children from primary school, you teach something called social studies. You teach them the history of their nation. You teach them the advantages of being a citizen of that nation. Why? You are preserving that sense of nationhood. We have lost that sense of spiritual nationhood. We do not understand the extent. And that's why our faith is not strong. Because we are not familiar with the dealings of God. Today someone is favored in one month. He becomes prosperous and we shout about it. We insult fathers of faith for buying just a little land. Have you not read about Alexander Dewey? He was not elected but he was the spiritual mayor of Illinois. He built a city single-handedly. He was not just a prophet. He was a multi-millionaire. It was said his wealth was so mysterious people became afraid he built a city well his opinions were had their issues here and there but he built a city with a hospital in it today is still called zion city in illinois you get there once he was 12 on the dot everywhere around the city you had to stop and pray once upon a time catherine kuman was teaching and someone came into the meeting sorry maria woodward eater was teaching and someone came and was laughing at her and the moment she was laughing at her she said god judge you her tongue swallowed up immediately to be bigger than the size of her head after three days of prayer warriors praying that tongue refused to go down and they advised the person to come and apologize we came before the church and apologized to her she laughed and slapped the tongue it went down in their presence are we together these people, it was their life. It was not show. William Branham would stand for hours and watch a congregation and not say anything because he said he was waiting for his angel to come. You say you are seeing angels today, they say you are diabolic. You collected power from somewhere. This guy stood and did not do anything. And then eventually, all of a sudden a physical wind will start blowing in the church physically and all of a sudden you say here comes the angel and turn and start giving a level of word of knowledge and prophecy that very few people on earth will ever get there there is no mortal man on earth now i know who is working in william branham's dimension of prophetic accuracy they did not have videos to capture their meetings strange manifestations but something happened as powerful as these moves are 
the children had the opportunity to learn without guessing they had the opportunity to learn without trying with the little dimension of grace that god has exposed to me i've had the privilege of teaching people with a level of accuracy according to what god has given and have watched a reproduction imagine that you were mentored by smith wigglesworth imagine he told you what god taught him imagine what happened to him when he went to heaven imagine that he told you imagine that you stood side by side with him they brought somebody with a condition called an alligator skin where his skin the top skin had rot and they brought him before a. a allen a allen looked at him and laid his hands and removed the old skin like that like you remove another hand and a new hand appears and he threw it away Jaco, one of the greatest manifestors of the faith of god i watched this it's not like they told me they brought someone with cancer and he sat down on a chair he looked at the neck he held the cancer and removed it did you hear what i said not that he held it and it went down he removed it everybody see i'm holding it shame on the devil In Smith Wigglesworth book his own confession that one time a spirit appeared in his room devils appearing in his room and the room was shaking and rocking and he came out when he came out he looked at the parlor and he saw a spirit sitting and he turned back don't waste my time he went to go and sleep not pray not fast not bind sleep I thought it was an angel that brought a message but since it's you Satan enjoy the chair and go back this is not I claim I am powerful and uh -uh. this is a settled this is truly the seated in heavenly places mentality we are missing something the little we have been able to capture is what we are bragging with but there must be a system we have come to draw from your well Jesus Draw from you again!